Now it's time for us to practice our word of the week. Do you remember what our word of the week is? Our word is have. We spell have H-A-V-E. Do you remember the song? Have you got a froggy singing in a pond? H-A-V-E, have. H-A-V-E, have. Now we can use our song to help us remember the word, but also how we spell it. Now we use the word have when we are talking about something that belongs to us. I have a new poem. Our poem has the word have, but if you look closely, it also has another word. It has our old word of the week, an. My friends, can you find the word an? That's right. It's here and here. Remember, we use the word an when the word that follows after begins with a vowel. So instead of an A, we have to put an because the next word is a vowel and that's how we speak in English. So I'm going to read the poem, I have. And every time I say the word have, I want you to put your hands on your head. Watch as I point to each word with my finger as I read. I have, I have an acorn. I have a basket. I have a card. I have a gym. I have an elbow. I have a kiwi. How many times did you hear the word have? Yes, you heard the word have seven times in our poem. So you should have touched your head seven times. Now that we've practiced reading the word have, I want my friends to practice writing with the word have. And have the paper have. At the top, I want you to rainbow write. Remember, you rainbow write using six colors. And when you finish, you can trace over each of the words. Have, have, and have. But at the bottom, there are two spaces. I want you to use your thinking brain and think about how you could use the word have. Now, I'm going to think of a sentence. Hmm, I want to know, do you have a dog? So, I am going to write, do you have a dog? There are five words in that sentence. So, I need to make sure that I'm writing my five words. I'm going to go back, or I'm going to go ahead and start with my first letter, do. You, both do and you are our sight words, so I can easily write them because I remember. Do you have, I, H, A, V, E. Do you have a dog? Now, dog's not one of our sight words, so we have to stretch it out. Say it slowly, D. Aug. Write the sounds that you hear. D. Aug. Do you have a dog? Now, I'm asking a question, so I'm not going to put a period. I'm going to put a question mark. A question mark goes at the end of your sentence if you're asking a question. So, Make sure that your sentence starts with a capital letter and make sure it ends with a period or if you're asking a question, make sure it ends with a question mark. Now, I can answer it. Do you have a dog? 
Yes, I do. So I'm going to put yes. So kindergartners, when you finish writing, I want you to go back and touch under each word as you read. Do you have a dog? Yes. Make sure that when you're writing your sentence, it sounds right in English. And if it doesn't, I want you to go back and fix it.